Scott Laboratories presents Drops of Knowledge. Prior to filtration, grades should be selected and lot-specific data recorded from the pack sticker for records. If for some reason the sticker is missing or illegible, the grade and lot number is also printed on the back of each filter sheet. For assistance in selecting the proper grade, please contact Scott Laboratories. Be careful not to damage corners of edges or pads as you remove them. Damage may increase dripping during filtration. You will notice that each pad has both a rough side and a smooth side. Wine should always flow into the rough side of the pad and out of the smooth side. Prior to filtrations, inspect your filter plates for any signs of warping or cracking. Gaskets should also be soft and not brittle. In order to better understand a sheet filter, it is important to understand the flow of product through the machine and filter media. Every two plates in a sheet filter comprise a distinct filter pair. This pair is made up of an inflow and outflow plate. Each addition of a new inflow and outflow plate increases the capacity of the filtration and runs parallel to the other filtration pairs. All intermediate filter plates are equal, but are defined as either inflow plates or outflow plates based on their orientation in the unit. If the ear of the plate without the gasket is oriented on the inflow side of the machine, this plate is considered an inflow plate. If the ear without a gasket is on the outflow side, this is considered to be an outflow plate. When inserting intermediate plates into the filter, alternate directions so that the plates properly gasket against each other. Most machines are equipped not only with intermediate plates, but also end plates. End plates are unique and are used as first and last plates in the filter. Insert one filter sheet in between each plate of the filter. The rough side should be facing the inflow plate, and the smooth side should be facing the outflow plate. By doing this, you will notice that the direction of the sheet will alternate from one plate to the next. After inserting one sheet between each plate, lightly tighten the filter using the spindle or other tightening device. In a standard filtration, the product inlet is commonly situated at the bottom right port product outlet is located at the top port. Using sanitary sight glasses, valves, and pressure gauges will be important tools during the filtration process. All other ports should either be capped or equipped with a vent or drain. At this point, the machine is ready to rinse and sanitize. The common recommended method is hot water sanitization, 20 minutes at a minimum of 180 degrees Fahrenheit. In addition to a hot water sanitization, Compatible sanitizers include SO2, citric acid, and phosphoric acid. For recommended concentrations, contact Scott Laboratories. Avoid chemical sterilants, chlorinated or caustic chemicals, and surfactants such as quaternary ammonium or iodophore. They are difficult to rinse from the sheet matrix. When initiating rinsing and sanitization, begin a flow of ambient water into the inlet and out of the outlet. The filter at this point should be loosely closed with valves open and drains flowing. Visually confirm leaking and flow across filter. As wetting of the filter pads occurs, slowly tighten filter until dripping is significantly reduced, though still present. Introduce desired hot water or chemical sanitizer at this point, taking proper precaution of operator exposure to any products used. Continue to tighten filter during sanitization and subsequent rinsing until dripping is reduced to acceptable levels. Excessive leakage is considered to be more than 3 to 5 gallons per 8 hour shift. If such leaking persists during use, check condition of plates and gaskets for warping or cracking. Machine should be well rinsed of any sanitizer prior to use and can be either drained by gravity, purged with gas, or pushed with product to displace rinse water. Close all valves and attach product lines. Open a vent valve on the inlet side of the filter. Product will discharge from vent when inlet side is full. Slowly introduce product. Product will discharge from vent when inlet side is full. At that point, close the drain and open outlet to destination tank. Common initial differential pressure will begin at 5 to 8 psi or roughly 0.5 bar. Differential pressure is calculated by the difference between the inlet pressure and the outlet pressure. 
Outlet pressure is commonly very low. Unless a counterpressure tank is used, downstream valves are not fully open, or significant elevation is required to arrive at the destination tank. When filtration through two different filter sheet grades is desired, a plate commonly referred to as a diversion or crossover plate can be used. The diversion plate effectively breaks a sheet filter into two stages. Stage 1 will be the first coarse filtration, and stage 2 will be the finer filtration. This is done by isolating the inflow of your product in the rear portion of the machine. Product must then pass through your stage 1 filters in order to flow to the front portion. Finally, in order to flow out of the machine, it must pass through the second stage filters. When two-stage filtration is desired and a diversion plate is available, move your inlet hose and valve assembly to the bottom right of the mobile head. Keep your outlet at the top left of the fixed head. At this point, the inlet and outlet are on the same side of the filter machine. If a diversion plate is not used, wine would simply enter through the inlet and exit through the outlet without filtering. Thus, when inserting the diversion plate, the closed ears must be placed on the inlet and outlet side of the filter. A diversion plate can be placed anywhere within the filtration pack, but the proportion of stage 1 compared to stage 2 should be strategic. For assistance with this, please contact your supplier or Scott Laboratories. In order to measure differential pressure for both stages of filtration, a third gauge should be added to a sample port on the non-inlet outlet side. During filtration, it is important to monitor and record the differential pressure as it increases on both stages. If differential pressure is consistently accelerating faster on one stage or another, the operator can consider placing the diversion plate in another location of the filter pack on subsequent filtrations. For example, in a 40 plate filter, the stages can be broken up half and half, 20 plates on each side, or 24 to 16 to add capacity to one stage or the other. During filtration, follow optimal flow suggestions from your manufacturer. Optimal conditions for sites filter sheets are available from Scott Laboratories. As the filtration progresses, pressure will increase as solids are retained by the filter sheets. Graphically, this is seen as an exponential growth in pressure. As time passes and gallons are filtered, pressure will increase at an accelerated rate. If regeneration of media is desired, such regeneration should be done prior to the knee of the curve, or 45 degree tangent. This is typically occurring in wine, beer, and distillate filtration at around 18 to 20 psi differential pressure. Helpful tips for filtration. Do not mix grades of filter sheets without a diversion chamber. Replace gaskets every one or two years to minimize leakage. If membrane filtration will be used subsequently, wait no more than 48 hours to do so.